Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can recreate this two corn row braid, also known as the feed in braid. So I'm starting off on blow dried hair. You can do this on any type of stretched hair. You just want your hair to be as stretched as possible so that you can achieve a nice sleek look. So parting my hair down the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and separate my two sections. You want to make sure that your hair and parting is really, really defined and detangled. You do not want to end up with any type of tangles and you want this to be as precise as possible. Now let's get down to the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and use my Eco Styler Gel. You can use any gel of your choice, just something that's going to have a nice hold. You don't want a crispy hold, but a good enough hold to where it will keep all of your frizzes and flyaways away. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some leave-in to my ends and the base of my hair just to make sure that I keep everything nice and soft. You know, your hair rubbing against synthetic hair can cause a lot of friction and breakage. I definitely don't want that. So I want my hair to be nice and moisturized. So I use my leave-in and I'm going ahead and brushing in my styler and I'm going to go ahead and begin braiding. Now the key to this feed-in braid is pretty much taking your time. I know you guys know how to cornrow already. You're <laughs> probably really, really quick cornrow braiders and I am the same way but when it comes down to this braid you want to take your time and make sure that you are picking up pretty much every single strand of hair and that it's really really nice and neat. So once I get midway through I'm going to go ahead and add in my braiding hair. This is just some regular jumbo braid 100% cankalon hair and the feed in process is really really simple. You just want to make sure that you have a good grip of the hair. Using your index finger is where you're going to grab the extension. The extension is going to have a little loop as you can see here and I'm going to go ahead and grab that loop with my opposing index finger and then I'll just go ahead and continue braiding. One thing you definitely want to keep in mind is that you're trying to build and create this braid. You want it to go from the smallest size to the largest size, that way it looks so much more natural. You don't want to add in the hair too early to your braid or else it will look more artificial and fake and it'll look like you have some braiding hair in your hair. So you pretty much want to go ahead and create that base braid and add in the extensions towards the end. That way it has that nice natural look. All of our hair ends up, whenever we cornrow it, it always ends up a lot more bulkier towards the back because you have more hair by the time you reach the back of your head when you're cornrowing. So you just want to create that illusion. That way it looks really, really nice and natural. Another tip I want you guys to keep in mind is to not add too much gel. You don't want to have a whole bunch of gel and make it too slippery for you to be able to grip your hair as well as the extension hair. It's going to be really, really hard to grip and take your time and do this. So as I get towards the back of my head, I'm going to be adding in the extensions so much more. Before I would grab a little bit of the extensions and braid maybe like two or three times and then I would add in some more extension. But since I'm getting more towards the back and I want more of a bigger look towards the back, I'm going to go ahead and add in the extension after I wrap around the hair each and every time. So you guys will see me add in the hair so much more towards the back. Braiding towards the ends, you want to go ahead and still maintain that tension and get a nice solid braid towards the end. That way it doesn't unravel and you won't need to do anything to the ends of the synthetic hair. It will just naturally stay. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some more gel to my edges and lay down my edges. And there you have it. It's a really, really simple braid. Trust me, guys. After practicing it maybe like two or three times, I promise you, you'll get it down pat. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on my second section. You guys know already I'm going to base it down with my gel and my leave-in and begin braiding and adding in these extensions. Now these braids are really really awesome for the winter time. They're really really nice and low maintenance. Because I added in the leave-in before I put in the gel, when I took down these braids my hair was still extremely soft. I was able to wear my hair out the next day without having to wash it just yet because the gel did not dry up hard and crusty. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know how you will rock this. Would you rock this during the winter time, the summertime, or springtime? And for those of you that have been requesting updates on that kinky straight hair, I have that coming for you guys really, really soon. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.